<laughs> All right, here we go. This is the truth behind the beef between DJ Quick and Tim Dog. Tim Dog. What's my name? Tim Dog. Now, this was what's funny about this whole situation is that out of this whole beef, this these two are the, the main ones that really never got a chance to even see each other. And it wasn't really directed to him, and basically. I mean, he, his name was mentioned because he had just started making a name for himself in Compton. But this was mostly directed towards N.W.A., which straight out of Compton and everybody screaming Compton, Compton is Compton that I told people in New York people weren't really feeling this NWA. They what they wasn't really NWA'd out like everybody thought. So when they came to New York, New York was the only city that really just didn't give them full cooperation and love. Like all the rest of the cities. New York had the tight ice grills, like, yeah, what up? <laughs> He ain't from New York, so don't even play him. <laughs> so, anyway. Tim Dog decided to come out with a song called F. Compton. Now, when he dropped that song, it just attacked Miss L.A., N.W.A., and everybody included. And he mentioned, DJ Quirk, you can suck my. <laughs> you know, once he started doing this, everybody like, whoa, like, who is this guy? Half Compton. Yeah. Me and Miss Chalet, we was boning. <laughs> so, I mean, when he had the song out, it just caught everybody by surprise. Because it had the video jukebox out at the time and they had a music video for it. But because of the content was so raw, and he's from the Bronx, so he wasn't finna edit nothing. They just, they could only show you like a minute and a half of the video. And that's what the box did. They edited the video down to like a minute and a half. And people were still ordering the video. And that made Tim Dog. That was his promotion. That video jukebox. That the box is what you control. You would dial on your telephone and order the video you wanted to see played. So when you had the box, you control the music. So you didn't have to wait for somebody to play it for you. So you would see that video over and over again. Man. What happened after that? I think DJ Quick, he was the first to respond to it on his album, uh, Just Like Compton. And to the Nintendo, thanks for acknowledging that I am the funkiest guy in this business. And also... Boy, your mama can suck a golf ball through a water hose. That chick is good. <laughs> so, he was talking about Tim Dog, and Tim Dog mentioned him in the song too. The next song, Step to Me. Yeah, Step to Me. And Tim Dog be spitting when he talk. You know, he one of those spit talkers. The spit be flying everywhere. Talk, Step to Me. Go for yours. Step to Me. Think you better than me? Bring it on, step to me. Go for yours, step to me. Come on, step to me. So, peace to Ice Cube, peace to IT, DJ Quick. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna watch your heart and say peace to the gods. Oh man, I mean. The thing is, they ran into a situation at the Jack the Rapper. Jack the Rapper was the greatest promotional and greatest mistake in hip-hop history. Jack the Rapper was a good way for the fans to get out and meet 
the rappers, and they can actually talk to the consumers, people who didn't know them, the up-and-coming artists. They had all their stickers, they all their promotional stickers. They rent out a hotel, they rent out a conference room, and all these rappers get to promote themselves. You know, and go out there and and Red Man is nothing. I mean, Red Man and Keith Murray was out there, and he was like, "Look, I don't even need to do this. I'm out here and I'm gold. Like I done sold five hundred thousand records. I don't even need to be out here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out here to show and support and love because I'm hip hop, and this is what I do. You know, so they out there spitting rhymes." Him and Red Man. And at the end of it, they didn't look and see who had beef with people. And you couldn't do that at that time because certain people had beef with somebody. But it, but back then it used to be all love. So you thought everybody would have an understanding that an altercation on something like Jack the Rapper would be detrimental, or detrimental to the whole promotional career as far as people want to deal with them. Back then, beef, there was no social media, so beef was like, look, this can end your career. You know, like, don't even do it. The record label gets scared and drop you. You know, that's why people like, look, I can't get in no beef. I might get dropped. You know, nobody wanted this type of situation. But Second to None and all those guys that was with DJ Quick, they called they called, um, Tim Dog off his square because he was out there promoting himself and they was on the mid in the Midwest and when he got caught I think it was in probably Minnesota or something like I don't know one of those towns and they caught him and they pushed up on him but probably Detroit and D was like what's up with it and you know, <laughs> it went down, you know, he had some guys with him and Tim Dog was like, look, man, I'm just trying to get some money, man. I'm trying to sell some records, get some money. I ain't got no problem with y'all, man. It ain't even on it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, you know, kick off some noise just to get people hyped so I can make some money off of it. That's it. I ain't trying to, you know, go to the next level. So... After this, you know, things went left. D let him go home. And after D let him go home, then all of a sudden you got you got Tim Dog back talking reckless. And he was like, Man, I thought we had an understanding. And Tim Dog was like, Only understand we had I told you what I was gonna do. And what I was doing it for. I didn't say I was going to stop doing it. <laughs> we dabbed. And he's like, I don't even mention second to none. You know, I talk about DJ Quick and the rest of them. So, that's why I'm way too funky. You hear DJ Quick bring up the Jack the Rapper. Yeah, you punk old sack. That's when my homeboy D was finna flatten your cap and you apologized to him. Started kissing his ass and said you only discounted for the money. So he gave you a pass. But you ain't moving mm -mm, on the streets. Get up my, to my city with them whack and beats that ain't funky. You know. I mean, Way Too Funky was dope. That was a, that was a you know, that was an album there. But, hey. It is what it isn't. <laughs> it went to something else later on because DJ Quickenham faded out and then Snoop and Dre ended up doing their thing and they started going back at Tim Dog for what was going on with, with, you know, F. Compton. Snoop ain't even from Compton, so when he kind of involved himself and then, you know, it went on with Snoop. That's a whole other story, though, but... It's the Tim Dog Wars, and rest in peace to Tim Dog. I heard he was gone for real, for real. People was like, no, he ain't. It was a misunderstanding, but I heard he really gone, so. Rest in peace to Tim Dog. 
I'm out.